Welcome to the DPR and Registration Tips webinar. Our goal is to prepare you to efficiently register for classes and to utilize the tools and resources at your disposal to select the classes you need to graduate in a timely manner. Our agenda includes a review of general education and upper division writing requirements, a video tutorial on how to access and interpret the DPR, as well as an introduction to the new plans feature through your DPR. We will end with registration tips and EOP student expectations. Let's get started with a brief review of your general education requirements. Lower division courses are numbered 1 through 99 and can double count with major courses, while your upper division courses are numbered 100 through 199. Let's look at your upper division GE requirements more closely. Your upper division GE consists of 12 units from the following areas, IB, IC, ID, and MI. Note that these upper division courses cannot be selected from your primary major. However, they may count toward a second major, a minor, or certificate requirements. These courses also have prerequisites. For example, for area IB, you must first complete your foundation courses A1, A2, A3, and B4, as well as all of area B. In addition, within areas ID and MI, there are upper division writing courses Anthropology 116W and Anthropology 105W respectively, which satisfy the upper division writing requirement, a graduation requirement for all Fresno State students. There are other W courses which are listed in the general catalog. Some majors require a specific W course. Check with your major department. If your major does not require a specific W course, another option for completing the upper division writing requirement is the upper division writing exam. More information and sample prompts are available on the Testing Services website as well as in the Office in Family Food Science 110. If you plan to take the exam, for practice we recommend answering the prompts and getting feedback at the Writing Center in Education 184 or at the Learning Center in the Henry Madden Library. We recommend you complete this graduation requirement between the semester in which you are completing 60 units and the semester in which you are completing 90 units, as it will help you develop into a better writer for your senior level classes. Now let's talk about a very useful class planning tool, the Degree Progress Report, which we often refer to as the DPR. The DPR provides information regarding requirements needed to earn an undergraduate degree at Fresno State. It categorizes all completed Fresno State and transfer courses into specific areas that fulfill requirements towards degree completion and graduation requirements, including your major and general education requirements. The DPR also provides detailed information about major, campus, and cumulative GPA, especially important if you are planning to apply to graduate school. It also outlines total units completed, catalog year, and other degree requirements. Let's learn how to access the DPR and what some of the symbols on the DPR mean by watching this short tutorial. To request a degree progress report, you'll need to log into your My Fresno State portal. Click the Sign In button, enter your email ID and password, and click Login. Under My Menu, select Student Self Service, followed by Student Center. Under My Academic Records and Registration, you'll need to select Degree Progress Self Service. Once you have selected Degree Progress Self-Service from your Fresno State portal, you will be directed to the following page where you will have the option to select from either an HTML or a PDF report. You can also select from a detailed or a senior Degree Progress report. A detailed DPR will provide you with an overview of all your degree requirements, including courses already completed, in progress, and any deficient areas. 
A senior DPR allows you to see only the areas that will be completed with in-progress coursework and any deficient areas. Once you select your options, click Run Audit to begin generating the DPR. Notice that this symbol will let you know that the DPR is still running. After the DPR is done running, you'll need to click on View Audit to view the audit in HTML or to download the audit if PDF format was selected. Note that within this page, you will have access to delete old DPRs if you no longer wish to see them. Once you are able to view your degree progress report, you'll need to pay close attention to both the major and the catalog year, which are listed at the top of the DPR. If you need to change either of these, you'll need to visit the Admissions and Records Office in the Joyal Administration Building. Of special importance is the catalog year, because you'll want to make sure it's listed correctly since the catalog year determines the requirements a student must complete to receive a baccalaureate degree. The HTML version of the DPR will default to open all sections, but you have the option to close all sections and determine which ones you want to view. The DPR is organized in the following order. Major, including major GPA, additional major requirements, if required, general education, including any excess GE, other degree requirements, electives, and a chronological summary of all coursework attempted or completed, including cumulative GPA. To better understand and decode your DPR, look for the following symbols. A green check mark indicates the area is complete. A blue rectangle indicates the area will be completed with successful completion of in-progress courses. A red X indicates a deficient area usually requiring either completion of a specific course or courses or clearance from the appropriate department or committee. The legend can be found by hovering your mouse over the information bubble. Please pay special attention to any codes next to your classes. Certain codes mean credit is being removed for the course. I hope this training video has been helpful to you and given you a clearer sense of what a DPR is and what it's used for on this campus. Another useful tool that is now available to students is My Degree Plan, or Plans. Let's watch this short video introduction. <laughs> What is your Fresno State degree plan? Did you know Fresno State has a tool to help you plan courses to complete your degree? My Degree Plan. It's an interactive course planning tool that allows you to plan one or more terms into the future. My Degree Plan. This planning tool is linked with a degree progress report, DPR, which already identifies the required courses you should take in your declared major. Create your personalized plan by clicking, dragging, and dropping the courses from your DPR to your plan. It's that simple. To find my degree plan, step one, log into your Fresno State portal. Select My Academic Records and Registration, then select My Degree Plan. Step two, click on the Create a New Plan button and select your desired degree program. Step three, name your plan and select the Add Plan button. Step four, click drag and drop your required courses from your DPR to create your plan. Enhance your advising session by sharing your plan with your advisor. The university will collect course demand data from your plan to guide departments in creating future class schedules that better meet your needs. So you have the ability to influence courses being offered in the terms you plan to take them. That's all it takes. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready and graduate on time with my degree plan. Visit our website to see the online tutorial. Again, let's review where you can access these useful tools. In your Student Center, select the green arrow to expand My Academic Records and Registration where you will find the Degree Progress Report to access the DPR and the Plans tool. You can also select My Degree Plan to access the Plans tool. Other useful tools in the area include information about your withdrawals and repeats under Other Academic, as well as information about important info and holds, 
and your enrollment appointment. You can now start adding classes to your wish list, so you can continue to monitor the availability of your ideal schedule. It's time for registration tips. Let's learn how you can search for classes more efficiently using additional search criteria. Make sure that you are in the correct term. You can deselect Show Up in Classes Only to view closed and waitlisted classes. Let's look at what we can do using additional search criteria. To accommodate a set work for child care schedule or other important responsibilities, use meeting start time, meeting end time, and days of the week to find classes offered around your obligations. To find online general education upper division writing skills classes, classes supported by supplemental instruction, and more, select an option in course attribute. To find classes in specific GE areas, select course attribute value. To find online classes, you can also select World Wide Web in Mode of Instruction or Digital Campus in Location. For more assistance with registration procedures, Fresno State also provides an online resource at fresnostate.edu forward slash student affairs forward slash class schedule forward slash registration, forward slash procedures. As we are coming close to the end, let's review EOP student expectations. If you are a third year student or transfer student this year, we expect that you will connect with your EOP counselor at least twice per semester. Review your DPR, attend one academic workshop, and meet with your major department advisor. For fourth year students and those approaching graduation, we expect you to connect with us at least once per semester. Review your DPR, meet with your major department advisor, and review the senior checklist at fresnostate.edu forward slash student affairs forward slash senior experience, forward slash graduation, forward slash check. Watching this video does not take the place of consulting with your EOP or major department advisor to review your DPR and develop a tentative graduation plan. To schedule an appointment with your EOP counselor, call the Student Success Services front desk in Joyal 224 at 278-1787. Select option 5 to speak to a student assistant, or stop by the office to schedule. We are also offering academic advising sessions and walk-ins. Please check your email for more information about the EOP academic advising and walk-in schedule. Thank you for watching our DPR and Registration Tips webinar. We hope you are better prepared for your next advising appointment or walk-in with a wish list and questions about your requirements and tentative graduation plan. We also hope to connect with you soon.